guys, I am at Home Croissantery. As you guys may know, I come to Home Croissantery Cafe very often because my boyfriend Ben is a baker slash pastry chef here. Funny thing is, I can't remember the last time I baked something. Must have been like many, many years ago. And I thought about it, I was like, he's always baking us like croissants, buns, and everything. But who's gonna bake for him? So I've decided to make something for him. It just makes sense because I have a professional kitchen at my disposal. I can use whatever I want and all the equipment. Today I'm going to try to bake something a bit fancier using some of his equipment. Let's take a look at his kitchen, shall we? Hello! We're still in the kitchen today even though it is Monday, which is cafe closing day because it takes two days to make a croissant so they gotta make everything proof it so that's ready for tomorrow morning and so I'll just be occupying the space in the middle here or on the side over there later so there'll be background noise it came with a thermal mix this is the thermal mix he uses this to make the balls Cream. Let's see what's in here. Baking powder. Some actual food. I want to bake something though. Let's try to bake something kind of fancier. Make bread. Orange juice. sugar in mixing bowl and sift. 10 seconds, speed 9. Oh, it's, telling, it's saying that you can sift with the machine. You don't have to sift it into it. That is so unnecessary. The point of thermomix is that you don't need to use anything else other than the thermomix. Oh. Okay, well, there we have it. I'm supposed to use this to do everything. Flour, salt, water. Well, 
below. I should have just needed this myself. What is the point of this? So I've needed this for like triple, quadruple the time that that told me to. Look what it looks like. This does not look right. It wants me to make it into these little balls, but... Really? Yeah. Oh, let's take a. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me see how boys are. Yeah, we're both doing the same thing over here. We are. Just using the uh, poor man's way. Aw, because he let me use the thermal mix. I'm trying to rescue this current since I made it. We made it two days ago. It's just like too watery. Mm. So let's try to. The shell I made is kind of failing, but I don't know what I can do. It's like cracking. I just have to keep warming these up because it's way too cold from the fridge. Like, way too cold. It's cracking. Can you try my lemon curd? How much lemon juice did I say you have? Um, lemon juice. How many grams lemon juice? 220 grams of lemon juice. 420 grams? 220 grams. Two, how many egg yolks? Six eggs, right? Six eggs. It's better than my lemon. It <laughs> has more of a. Ooh, okay. It tastes more like lemon. Mine doesn't taste like the lemon juice. Oh. Yeah, but yours would be thick, huh? Was that six whole eggs? Yeah, six whole eggs. Was there any Filling. egg yolks? No. I might use this one actually. This one. Wow, I had some utility. Um, I honestly might use that because I think it cooked the eggs. <gasps> it cooked the eggs? Yeah, there's a bit of this lumpy. No! Which was um, lemon and sugar, and then lemon zest and sugar, and then. So much less of lemon flavor. Wait. 
put lemon curd, the better it tastes, actually. Oh. Get rid of that egg taste. Okay. So should I just keep cooking it? Slowly, slowly. But your egg is already, um... Your egg is somehow... Yeah, you're just lumpy for some reason. Great. It smells really nice, though. I think it's the, uh... Uh... Sugar with lemon zest. That's how I make the game. Ooh. I, don't, I think it extracted the oil from it or something. I don't know. I might add that as a step. Uh -huh. Blend up sugar with lemon zest. Alright, I'm off to make this. For sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can make it yourself. Alright. Okay, time to make the meringue now. So we will need so we'll need four eggs. And it so tells me to use the thermal mix, of course, because it's a thermal mix recipe book. I'm just gonna whisk it myself because I don't wanna have to clean this. You need egg yolks, right? What? You don't need egg yolks. Uh get the egg yolks. how this lemon curd tastes. Let's try. You want to make sure these guys are amazing? Pretty good. Okay, I shut up. Mmm! That's pretty good! <laughs> yeah. Mmm! 
Yay, success! I was telling everyone that I made you this because we're always baking for people, but who's baking stuff for you? Oh. You. Yeah. The outside is really pencil. Is that good? Or bad? I give it to you. This is like 200 times 1000 percent better than I thought it would be. <laughs> How bad did you think it would be? I wasn't expecting this to be good. Guys, just now when I asked him if he wanted to eat it, he was like, mm, okay. I thought he was gonna be like, yeah, hey. of course. The curd is really smooth. How hey, you should work here. <gasps> really? But you have to bang out more than three tarts <laughs> for six hours. <laughs> That's supposed to be a huge one, but success. We're gonna pop into two the boxes. Huh? I made three. We had one just now. I'm gonna bring one home and I'm gonna uh, keep one here. Aww. He wrapped it pretty nicely and then let the people try it tomorrow if they want to. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!